to fall and where were you how could i know you were falling to grabbing the wind cutting my skin but it's hard because i i'm falling tell me why i'm falling oh life's calling but it's hard because i'm falling Hello ladies and gentlemen, ScareTubeF we here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Airbase. It's been a little while since we've done one and I'm going to talk about uh, why that's been the case if you want to know uh, a little bit later in the episode near the end. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and kind of take a look at what was built in the time lapse as you guys all saw. So continuing off of from what we built in the last episode, we continue work on this utility vehicle kind of warehouse area. I don't know if we're going to continue to post any ep episodes really working on it as it's pretty much squared away and there's not really much to cover um, really with it. Um, so kind of going over it, what you guys saw in the time lapse was this area constructed. Um, I tried going back and looking for the footage of this area here, but it does seem like it was just kind of in a mix of a bunch of other footage of working on different various areas around the base. So I decided, you know, too choppy, I'll just completely cut it out and talk about what we did here. It was pretty much just copying and pasting some different assets on the world into this area. 
Um, to kind of basically jump into it, um, what was built is we obviously built the main kind of maintenance, uh, I guess, uh, garages. And this was something that I definitely wanted to uh, build and was kind of wanting to be the focal point of the actual facility itself. So we have two garages. They're basically identical, almost garages right next to each other. And we also have kind of like a little bit of an office building or something like that where maybe they do uh, the work orders or something like that. Um, you know, just a little office basically in the back here. Um, so pretty standard uh, overall look for it. You know, you got the obviously you know big openings here for the garages. Um, it's a little bit of a tight fit in there, and we're debating whether or not doing it to interior for this one. So that may be something we do in the future. Um, but uh, for the most part, just you know, lots of random little detailing and different uh, things thrown in here and everything like that. Um, and the building itself came out uh, pretty good. Pretty satisfied with it. I do like the. Uh, ducting on the back here with all the all the um, air AC units and stuff like that um, overall pretty cool there uh, one of the major big things we did also was put in a bunch of uh, different types of things so I decided to go ahead and do kind of like a baggage cart type design so uh, different carts and stuff like that obviously could be used for like transporting stuff around I thought so that's why I did put a bunch of these little carts here that could be towed around the uh, basin used we have a bunch of different uh, storage containers, all kinds of stuff like that. We also even have like a little uh, flatbed trailer I went ahead and built, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. I actually kind of like the way it came out. Pretty uh, interesting. Uh, then continuing on, we have a forklift design. So this was a forklift that I designed recently, obviously, to use on the uh, world itself. Uh, I also designed a street sweeper, which was a vehicle also, um, just a random utility vehicle that I thought would be you know, would make sense, a street sweeper to kind of clean up the uh, streets and stuff like that, obviously. Uh, we got a couple bobcats here and um, just a whole bunch of random stuff, you know, more carts and stuff like that in this area, nothing nothing fancy, just trying to fill in space and, you know, add some detail to this area. Um, and then uh, what basically came from it was putting a small refueling station uh, back here in this area. I don't really know if we're going to have any extra view anything back here maybe a few little pallets or just some like random little detail bits and then over here we have a garage you might remember this garage because it's the uh, same design garage that I used over uh, for the other utility vehicle kind of depot um, I did like the design of the building it was nice very basic and you know I wanted something to kind of fill in the space here so I threw in this garage as a work uh, this place for maybe some smaller vehicles or whatever as it you know looks nice it's you know fits in good here and uh, I mean you know it's not super easy to tell that it's just a copy and uh, paste over here and I did try to change up a few little details here and there on it and uh, still it still will be changed up a little bit I wanted to redo a little bit of the ducting and stuff on the roof too but um, for the most part uh, that's pretty much that um, a few of the other things that were changed were these little patches of concrete that were added in and I got to give big thanks to uh, Winston for going ahead and doing that. Um, he's the nerd person that's been working on the server a little bit, helping out, and he's done a phenomenal job on kind of randomizing up the ground and creating a really nice look to it. And you can see we just have these concrete patches that kind of go around here, and they really look nice. Uh, they just kind of add a little bit more detail, go for that kind of rugged kind of, you know, not really a super well-maintained area of the base. Um, and you know asphalt and all that stuff over time you know it deteriorates needs to be patched and concrete patches and stuff like that so overall I really like the, the uh, look of it we have the patches kind of all the way around here and stuff like that I definitely want to use this uh, design and this idea a little bit more uh, around the base for sure so really happy with the way that came out looks absolutely amazing and uh, that's pretty much going to sum up the uh, area right here I mean that's really all that was uh, built up in it and uh, this whole area, this little depot here can definitely be considered almost done. There's some stuff I want to do here and there, add a few more little detail bits and that's something that we'll probably do off camera. So I think that we can pretty much declare this uh, little uh, project uh, complete for episode wise and anything else that comes on later will be done in a uh, different video and a lot of stuff. Um, so basically talking about what the kind of future is, what the plans are to go from here really. So uh, obviously you can see that there is a little bit more work that's been done to the base. This was something that was not shown in the time lapse obviously or anything like that and this is all stuff that's been done off camera. Now I kind of talk about this a little bit um, in a video that's going to be coming out tomorrow which is kind of a recap of all the episodes we've done so far. 
So uh, this area here is going to uh, house, I'm kind of leaning on the side of probably C-130s. I was originally thinking of uh, doing a, you know, a different uh, type of aircraft. I was originally thinking about making this the F-35 area, but I really am not really digging that idea anymore. So I'm thinking that it's probably going to be a, uh, you know, C-130 area since we already kind of have C-130 plots a little ways down that way. Um, but yeah, I talked about this a little bit later in a video um, that's coming out tomorrow, so you can look back at you can look at that video and look forward to seeing that to kind of get a inside idea of what's going on here. Uh, but basically, talk about why there hasn't been any episodes lately for the airbase, and it's uh, pretty straightforward, honestly. Uh, you know, just haven't had the time to do so. Obviously, the airbase requires a lot of work, which you guys saw in the uh, let's build part, kind of like the time lapse. That was basically two hours of work. Um, so. It does take quite a bit of time to actually, you know, build these projects and, you know, put them into effect and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, with having other tutorials, I need to fulfill Patreon requests and try to keep up better tutorials and, you know, just out stuff outside of my, you know, control and all that stuff that just happens in your normal day life. You really don't have as much time to work, sit down and work on uh, these big projects that, uh, you know, you want to, but you just can't do it. And that was one of my main things. I was also trying to work on the Flag Tower tutorial, which came out uh, yesterday. And, uh, you know, just a bunch of other stuff. So a lot of stuff going on and just been pretty busy with unoccupied with that stuff. Um, I think airbase pro uh, progress will probably slow down a little bit. So uh, we may not see as much uh, work done on, as, done on it as the, we were with the base first starting. Um, but it's kind of a trade-off, you know, it's either less tutorials and more airbase or more tutorials and less airbase. So very difficult to balance and find a good uh, balance. And obviously, as we continue to work on this, uh, you know, we can definitely, you know, see how it goes. And, uh, you know, that may change. We might actually make good progress. And, uh, you know, just time, I guess, will tell on, you know, how we're able to progress and what we're able to get done with it. Um, anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching this episode of the uh, Let's Build in airbase uh, lots of more cool stuff coming make sure you leave your suggestions and all that stuff again you know down in the comments below uh you guys have been giving me a lot of ideas and there's a lot of stuff i want to do with the base but just you know need to get more of the base done to be able to get to that kind of stuff so anyways thank you all, all thank you all again so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been garrett 204 and i'll see you guys next time